I think this weekend um, we showed a lot of heart, you know, a lot of character being on the road and, and Wofford game going down a goal, uh, which we haven't done great in this season, coming back from being down and, and got a goal. Um, had a lot of chances in overtime. I think we had five corners in a row at one point. Had one hit the crossbar. Um, so created some, some chances, just didn't finish. But felt good about the team's response on Friday night. Uh, it was a very good game. Wofford played extremely well. And uh, so I was pleased with the effort. Unfortunate, I felt that we didn't get the result. But at the same time, I was proud of the comeback. Um, Sunday, uh, the girls came out with, with a mentality that I haven't seen, um, that we've been talking about and preaching about. and. Yeah, it was it was the whole entire group bought into what we were trying to accomplish that day and played brilliantly. Um, scored two goals and had the run of play throughout the first half. Um, we've talked about this before, but the biggest mistake in the, at the end of the first half was giving up that goal four minutes or less um, before halftime, which really gave them life. I felt like we could have got into halftime 2-0. Could have been a different scenario. Um, but they scored and got the momentum, and then we did the other – Number one rule in soccer is not letting a team score in the first five minutes, and they scored 44 seconds into the second half. So then it was game on. It was two to two. Um, still, still played extremely well uh, and fought, and wound up getting a goal with 12 or 14 minutes left. I can't remember. They got called back on and off sides. Um, we've watched video and we dispute that, but uh, at the same time, it's, it is what it is, and you move on. And then Furman got the game winner in overtime, uh, which was. A crushing blow for us, I think, in some regard, because we put so much into it. But I think the the girls realized from that game on Sunday that what we've been telling them all along is true. They can compete with anybody in this league if they have the right mentality and play play the full 90 minutes. This weekend was like the first time in a really long time that I felt like we played as a unit. Like we've always had the chances in the final third to score, but we've never like finished them. And that's what we've been working on in practice, like the final third finishing, because we've had the chances. Kelly's a special athlete. Um, you know, at times during her career, she's been very frustrated. Um, but she always, no matter if she statistically puts points on the board or not, she always is a danger. She always attracts a lot of attention from other teams, which en enables other people to, to get free. Um, I don't think she realizes that at times, but that's the value she brings to us. And scoring goals is a, is a huge plus. I was really proud of her effort on, on Sunday. It's the first time in her career in four years that she's asked to come out of a game. So that tells you something right there. She, she worked herself into exhaustion, and that's what we expect. Um, but she had, a, she had a brilliant game on Sunday and really happy for her. It definitely helped my confidence and confidence as a team because we really felt like we had the game. And they just took it away from us. Like We had it first, the first half going into halftime. Our coach was telling us to like, keep it up, keep it strong. But they ended up scoring. We're excited to be at home as always. Uh, we always enjoy playing here and always put a put a high premium on getting results at home. Um, this time of year, we talk about a lot. Everybody's playing for something. It doesn't matter who you play. Everybody's fighting for something. So we expect two very hard games. Um, you know, it's, it's a catch-22 being home on homecoming weekend. Uh, there's a lot of distractions. There's a ton of families coming into town. Uh, if we manage it well and do the things that we're taught to do, it'll be beneficial for us if we let homecoming be the number one priority, then it's probably not going to be a good thing for us. So uh, we're excited to play at home. Two two very good teams coming in, um, and we'll be tested fully. Well, this could possibly be our last two home games unless we play the next week, but that should make us even want to try even harder, especially as seniors, knowing it's our last couple home games. And I feel like we'll have a big crowd because of homecoming, and hopefully that will just help us be able to play better. In this time of year, as a coach, you always reflect on these young ladies that come into your program that become a part of your family and uh, it's it's a happy time and also you know it can be emotional um, this group has given us everything in the program uh, eight truly different personalities that all have different qualities they bring to the table but they've all done extremely well and, and the thing that I'm the most proud of is they've not only been good players for us but they're good students and, and they've been just great representatives for Western Carolina University and good families and uh, so we want to send them out the right way. You know, we're coming down the stretch here. We got some big games ahead of us, and we expect them to lead us, and everybody else to follow follow suit. But uh, couldn't ask for eight better players to to coach for four years.